Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are on part three, part three, part three, part three of the first impressions. So I have already done part one, which was the foundation, part two, which was the bronzer and the powder. And now we are going to go on to the eyes. So let's get on to the eyes because this is my most favourite part of putting makeup on ever. I love doing eyeshadow. So, the eyeshadow that we have today is new and I haven't used it yet. So this is the Soeva, oh it's light now. This is the Soeva Chocolate Blend Palette. As you have seen in my Beauty Bay haul, I got three of these palettes for £43, which was amazing. The quality of these, when I swatched some of them, oh, I got so excited, guys. It was unreal. Who else gets so excited for when they swatch makeup for the first time? Like, the, the, the bought, and it just, like, it makes your heart tingle, and, uh, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to try this out. This is the Coco Blend palette. I will show you guys the inside if you have forgot what it looks like but these are gorgeous so we have one two three four five six shimmers in here and a few mattes so I don't even know what I what look I'm gonna do right now so yeah we're just gonna get into it okay we are going to go in with this sub sub so I can't speak today substitute for love which is like an orange right here we're going to go really lightly and this is going to be our transition shade so let's get started oh my days guys i used the tiniest amount I am just getting I'm getting excited using this like if you guys don't know I have been really into my oranges lately guys these shades are so pigmented can please tell me you can see this right now I'm gonna zoom you up just a wee bit so I hope you're focused I apologize if you're not but look how pigmented now I you took that looks a lot on this but I took the tiniest little bit of this on my brush like but I'm gonna blend this out don't worry guys but this is like I literally dab Did it, it's unreal okay so that is it for the transition shade I need to uh, blend it out with a powder brush I'm going to go and take a, another fluffy brush I'm going to take this one and we're going to blend these blends so well too. I hope the quality is coming off on the camera as well it is, is actually in person because these just blend amazing. This I might look a wee bit darker than this I only because there's a bit of a shadow on this side of my face so I apologize for that but Oh my days, this looks so nice. Okay, getting all excited. Uh, I'm getting all excited. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is I'm actually going to take a, another brush 
but I'm going to take like a smaller brush. This is my pot of brushes and most of them need cleaned. So let's try and find a brush that doesn't. We are going to take uh, this one which is freshly toasted, this one here, and just darken up the outer corner. We'll take this wee brush here um, and just we're going to add in that darker shade. I literally, you saw the brush, I dabbed. That's crazy. Okay, so uh, we're just going to darken up the crease. I hope that the camera is this, doing this justice for you guys because. Oh, Colors go out so well together. Look at the color. Okay, I'm getting really excited. I need to stop. I need to calm myself. So we're literally going to blend out just the wee corner bits here, just a wee touchy bit. These colors blend so good. These colors are maze balls. Okay. Now we need to decide which shimmery shade we are going to use. So we have quite a few in this palette which I don't know if you're going to be able to see properly. So we have these three are shimmers and these two are shimmers. I'm not going to use this one because it's like a green brown. I'm not going to use the purple one. I don't think I'm going to use the pink one. The pink one is gorgeous though, but I don't think I'm going to use it. I think, I think we'll use the sweet end and maybe a wee touchy bit of the subtle blend. So this one and this one. I will mix those two. So let's get a flat brush or close to a flat brush. Um, oh, let's take that real techniques one that we had. Let's go in with the subtle blend first. I'll just put a titchy bit of this all over the eye. Okay, no, we won't. We will take it on the corner, the outer corner that we didn't put anything on. Okay, and we'll take that like half across the eye. Oh, that's nice. And then we will take the same brush, but we'll take that uh, the sweeter end here. But we're going to put a wee bit of this on first, which is the better start. So we're just going to lighten it up by putting better start on first. That lightens the eye so well. That's crazy. Look how bright that is. I have never, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I've never had a shade brighten my eye like that's Like, it is nuts. So we're just blending them in a wee bit together. That is crazy. I have had like Urban Decay makeup. I have had everything and these eyeshadows are the best so far. So we're taking that sweeter and and we are going to put it in here. So I don't think this brush is helping with that shadow, so we're gonna take like a flat end brush. I'm going to take sweeter end on it. Yeah, that's better. So I'm kind of hoping that you can see the gold. These shadows are super, super pigmented. That's crazy. I 
I don't think that this camera on the lighting is doing my eyeshadow justice right now, but this palette, <laughs> this palette, I live for this palette right now. I have only tried it today. There's so many other combinations that I could do with this, and this eye look, I am loving, absolutely loving. So, this, it's, it's nuts. It's amazing. So, that is the first impressions of this eyeshadow palette. If you guys liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button as well. And I will see you in my next one, guys, which is eyes, uh, mascara, and lips. And I will see you then. Bye. Mwah!